Hello my gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is for a haul. I have picked up a few things from Mecca and from Chanel as well. So I'm just going to put everything in this video. So if you guys are interested to see what I picked up, please keep watching. All right, so all of this is actually not just one order. I think these are probably like three orders that I have picked up like in a space of probably like last three, four four months maybe four or five months but anyways um this is the second time i'm filming this video because i did not like um because i did not like the quality of the footage that i was going to edit so yeah so i don't really have any boxes now so everything is being unpacked and it's just in the box so i'm just gonna dig right into it and going to show you guys what i have picked up in the recent few months all right so the very first thing is from ultraviolet and this is their spf 50 plus it's their spring screen hydrating facial sunscreen and this is what it looks like i've been using their queen screen i think it's called um yeah, I think it's queen screen probably um, the dropper one actually in the glass bottle and I really like it um, but if you have oily skin you will probably prefer this one um, all these like the sunscreens from ultraviolet they are really really beautiful it does not feel heavy or cakey or doesn't have like any kind of strange smell to them so which is actually really really good so i have picked this one up for my husband because he has oily skin and now we're going into summer so i do have combination skin so i will give this one a go as well i have tried it a few times and it has a really really beautiful texture as well so there's that um as you, as i mentioned you guys that this order is from last few months um, so as you can see so this is the rare beauty facial setting spray and as you can see I have used maybe like the third half of the bottle and yeah so I like this um, I'm not really too sure if it actually helps for makeup to last any longer uh, but I feel like this one is for me it's like mac fix plus you know uh it get rid of the pariness and all that but i but i don't think it help your makeup to last any longer or anything like that but i like it um for the purpose of just to get rid of any pariness on your face all right i'm not really too sure how the lighting lighting situation is because now it's it was really nice and sunny and now it's all cloudy and I am using natural light uh, to film so I'm not really too sure how the lighting is going to play out. Alright, so the next thing is, oh my god, I'm like, I kind of feel guilty because I've been going into this rabbit hole of cream blushes. So my obsession with cream blushes started when I actually picked up um a blush ilia um that's the brand you can get from mecca um and since then like i did have two blushes from mac as well but i don't know that blush did something to me and now i just i would like to own all the cream blushes out there in the world right not good from rebecca card but anyway so i picked up two shades from Huda beauty cream blushes and the one is perky peach and the other one is rebel red i've been using these they last very long they're beautiful um they look very natural as well especially this one uh the perky peach i actually really, really like it i do like this one as well but i thought like for my skin tone this may not look really good on like it probably won't complement my skin tone but it just looks beautiful so i'll swatch it for you guys where should i swatch it um so this is the perky peach and this one is rebel red um this looks very red but you can just share it um and it just it looks beautiful and see how this peach is it's just such a beautiful shade like if you're closer to my skin tone uh, and you're looking for like a beautiful very light kind of peach color um you will actually really really like this perky peach and i picked up these peace out pore strips so these are four for your nose and four for your pore 
before so apparently i'm not too sure and this is what i look it looks like i have not used it um, i'm not too sure how i will like it um yeah i have used i have tried the sephora one i didn't really like it i found the smell was way too strong and i am sensitive to some smells and sephora no strips happen to have that smell so i just could not use that all right speaking sticking with ray beauty so i picked up the primer um i haven't really have any thoughts on this yet because i have only tried a few times i have i have to try a little bit more to gather my thoughts that if it helps to minimize pores or help to last your makeup any longer or anything like that but i picked up the smaller size i don't really know what i was thinking because i personally don't use primers like i have four or five primers and i'm really really struggling to finish those primers and on the top of that i bought a new one but i'm so glad that i picked up the mini one but yeah i'm not too sure what was going on in my mind but um yeah i will report back on this if i like it so Ray Beauty is another brand which is like really getting into me now, you know. So I picked up their cream blushes, or sorry, their liquid blushes, and it's in the shade Hope. And this is what it looks like. You have probably seen it all over Instagram and TikTok. These blushes are beautiful. They are very, very pigmented. You only need a tiny bit, and they just add such a beautiful glow to your face um i would like to buy i think it's the shade joy that's like terracotta orange kind of shade it's it's a beautiful shade it's always sold out is the shade hope as you can see i only applied a little bit but it was probably too much and you can just shear it down and this is what it looks like speaking about ray beauty i picked up one of their cream blushes and it's in the shade nearly neutral i do have this shade in their cream eyeshadow and i love it um and this is what it looks like so i will swatch it i have not tried this shade yet so this is what it looks like i feel like this formula is kind of like cream to powder formula but this shade is also very very beautiful we'll see you you guys will see like why i'm calling myself crazy because cream blushes obsession hasn't stopped right so the next thing is i picked up this little mini set of these nude um of these nude stick cream blushes so it's got five blushes see I told you guys I got problems, but I'm glad that it's in the mini size. I um so these are multi sticks. Like you can use it all over your face. You can use it on your eyes. You can use it on your lips. And I have tried this while I was traveling in September, and I love all of these. Like they are beautiful. I will probably do a separate video for these once I will swatch it, and you know, then you guys can see these in action. Um yeah, so I will do a separate video and I'll do the swatches and I will try it on my face and all that. So these are the five blushes from Nude Stick. I promise you this is the last one. Um this is from Patrick Ta. This is again cream blush and it's in the shade She is so LA. And this is what it looks like. So this is cream and powder. I was always wanted to get my hands on something like brownishy kind of blush. I have like another palette I have swatched. So these are the two shades from the Patrick Ta palette. This thing is from Huda Beauty, and this is their new concealer, the four filter concealer. This is what it looks like, and it's in the shade Graham Cracker 4.1G. All right, I just have to do a rant about it because no idea that they are discontinuing their overachieving concealer because that is one of my favorite concealer, like all time favorite. And they have reformulated it. The new shades are way too different compared to the old one, which I understand that the formulation and everything is different. Um, but then they have named the shades the same, but then the shades are different so if i have the same shade in the overachiever 
I ordered that shade. I can't remember which one was that. Um, but anyway, so that shade was way too dark for my under eyes. Not way too dark, but it was dark for my under eyes. But then the formulation, I found that the formulation is different as well. So I tried that concealer. Um, and I found the shade was dark. Then I went back and I got this shade. Um, so the shade is fine, but the shade I got before, that shade was like, it did not crease underneath my eyes whatsoever, like not at all. And then I tried this one, the shade is fine, but this one creases. So I feel like the formulation is different in different shades. So yeah, I don't know. I'm again on the hunt of my favorite concealer because my favorite concealer got discontinued. So this is a nice concealer, but unfortunately it's not my favorite. So yeah. I think I picked up, it's from Youth to the People and this is their famous cleanser. This is their Kale Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. This is what it looks like. It comes with a pouch as well and then you can, you know, buy a refill for that which is like kind of good for the planet so you not you know buying multiple packaging and all that so i have not tried this one yet because i have so many cleansers to go through but i'm actually excited to try this one all right so the next two things i picked up is like summery perfume so one is from girlan and this is what it looks like and another one is from gucci so yeah, I picked up two of these perfumes. They are very, very summery and I like both of them. They're nice. Oh my God, I am sorry I lied. I... Surprise, surprise. Another cream blush. This is from Natasha Denona and it's in the shade. I'm not too sure what shade it is. It doesn't say. Not three of these blushes. So this is the one that I picked up in if you I'll swatch it and if you see you will be like okay this probably won't show up on your skin but trust me when I say that this shade shows up on my skin and it looks beautiful I love this blush it is like it's 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 very different kind of shade and it looks so natural and it looks so so beautiful I probably have to do I don't know probably like a get ready video or something and then i will use this blush and show it to you guys that how beautiful this blush looks last week i picked up this hourglass ambient adding unlocked palette tiger palette um i just filmed a demo and review and that video will be probably going up live before this one so i will leave a link up there for you guys if you want to check it out so this is the holiday palette and i am still waiting for the elephant palette to come back in stock and this is what it looks like it's such a beautiful palette and this is the palette actually currently i'm wearing on my eyes on my face as well so the next thing i picked up from mecca is from sashado and this is their casual ink artist this is their eyeshadow um stick shadow and it's in the shade tea house i've been actually really into cream products i don't really know what it is and i am actually really on the hunt of these chocolate brown kind of eyeshadow and that too like in cream formula or like in this kind of formula And this is what the shade looks like it's just such a beautiful beautiful shade you can shimmer it down you can you know um, build it up the color as well it is beautiful and the cream eyeshadow i actually picked up two from smashbox the one is in the shade sienna and another one is barista these are apparently very very famous um, in the US like people are crazy about these and it lasts for a very long time as well and you only need a tiny bit as well so I will I don't really know where to apply it now I've been waiting for this barista shade to come in stock because it's always sold out 
So last week when I checked online, it was in stock, so I ended up ordering it online. Again, you guys will know. There you go. These two are actually oh shit. I think these are very very similar. Let me swatch it again. The the Sachado one. These are pretty much the similar shades. So this is Sienna and this one is what was the shade Barista. Probably return this. All right, I did not know that these shades are similar. I mean like they're a little bit different, but I don't think you will be able to tell the difference like if you're wearing on your eyes. I will try it on my eyes. Um, but yeah, they are somewhat very, very similar. So I will probably uh, return the Smashbox one because I have this for a while. And I will return this one because I don't need same my shadow, right? If you're after like two, any kind of like brown cream shadows, you can pick any of these. You don't need to. The thing I picked up, it's a highlighter and it's from Best Man Atelier. This is what it looks like and it's in the shade Nectar. Um, this is what it looks like. And I will swatch it here. This is such a beautiful cream highlighter. I'm telling you guys, I got a problem. I am on the hunt of these cream uh, products. But the thing is that like you can't go wrong with cream products. They just look so natural. And just so beautiful they add this really natural draw to your face you can't go wrong uh, but if you have like dry and combination skin I'm not too sure if you have all your skin I don't think cream product is the best option but yeah so this is what the shade nectar looks like from Westman Italia it's actually from Sephora and this is Dior and it's in the shade 720 this is such a beautiful shade. I mean, like I have tried used it, but can you guys see this velvet kind of texture on the lipstick? It just so so beautiful. And it says the all so beautiful. Um, all right. As you can see, I am just into rustic chocolate kind of shades. So this is what the Dior lipstick look like. The last few things are from Chanel and I picked up their eyeshadow in the Tweed. This is the Tweed Fold. This is what the eyeshadow looks like. These are like my shades. This is so so pretty. Um, I will probably do a YouTube video for these eyeshadows. I mean like there are so many videos already um, because you know it's we always get things in Australia at the very last minute, like when it's all old news. But anyway, so I'll film the video. And then I picked up this mascara as well, which you can just push it and the wand will come out. But I'm not going to open it yet because I have another mascara which I'm currently using. But this is what the mascara looks like. All right, my gorgeous. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Do let me know in the comment section below if you guys have recently picked up anything or if there is things that are on your wish list or things I have mentioned that are your favorites, not so favorites. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, my gorgeous.